food nerds! Welcome to the Gastro Nerd. I'm Julianne Fader, and I have an incredibly easy pasta sauce and snack for you. It's walnut pesto. Pesto? Walnuts? Well, you might have heard of pesto before. It's very popular, and you think it's made only with basil. But that's not true, because pesto just means paste. It literally is like mortar, pestle, paste, pesto. So that's just the Italian word for any sort of kind of ground up sauce. And for this, all you need are some walnuts, some parmigiano reggiano, or parmesan cheese, a head of garlic, and some anchovies. And of course, olive oil. To get started, we're going to roast the garlic. You don't have to roast the garlic, but it's gonna taste so much better if you do. To roast garlic, so I have the whole clove of garlic, I'm just gonna cut off the very top, right there. Then I have a piece of tin foil. I'm gonna put the garlic in the tin foil, a little bit of olive oil, and then I'm going to make a little outfit. I'm gonna seal it up, and I'm going to put this in the oven, or if you have a toaster oven, this is great so it doesn't take up a lot of space, for about 40 minutes. All you have to do is put it in and it's just going to get nice and roasted and it's going to take on a wonderful flavor. It's also a little bit less offensive than raw garlic. Into the, in my case, the toaster oven. The next step for my pesto is to toast the walnuts. Now, toasting nuts really brings out their flavor. Raw nuts are fine, but when you toast them, they become a whole different, a whole different ingredient. So I'm going to do a generous amount walnuts, all depends on how much you want to make of course. So I'm going to spread this out on a baking sheet. I have a little bit, I have my sill pot and that underneath. I'm going to put these in the oven at 350 and I'm going to toast them for about five to seven minutes. But when you're toasting nuts, really use your nose. As soon as it's, you start to smell that warm, nutty flavor, take it out. You have to really watch them because nuts can go from perfectly toasted to burnt very quickly. And once they're burnt, there's no going back. My walnuts are beautifully toasted. They're very fragrant. Mm, they smell like walnuts. And they taste good. Toasting them brings out their fats too, so they're like a richer, juicier, plumper, more flavorful. The garlic I just took out of its little foil. It was been about 40 minutes or so. It's nice. You can tell it's done when you can really squish it, because we're gonna just squeeze it out. So we're actually just gonna really squeeze it out right in, look at it, it's like snails, right into the food processor. So this is all gonna go right into this food processor. You can use a blender. You could do it by hand if you're ambitious. So the way I do it's not exactly the cleanest way. I like, I like the texture, like I said, my favorite. My favorite tools are the hands. Mm. Just you can just put this as like a sauce or a paste or just on a sandwich. It's so good. I'm gonna go make out with somebody right now. Roasted garlic, then anchovies. Anchovies. This is not gonna have an anchovy flavor. Anchovies are one of the many ingredients. So anchovies, if you don't know, anchovies. It's a very 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 small fish. Um, it's very rare that you get them fresh. When you do, they are amazing. They mostly come out of Italy and Spain and then they are preserved with salt. So you get them in a jar, and by getting a nice, good anchovy is important. Generally, go to look for a nice anchovy. It makes a little bit of a difference. But these are very rich in umami. Umami is the fifth taste sensation. Salty, sour, bitter, sweet, those are the other four. Umami is like the mouth feels savory sensation. Garlic is super rich in these. Parmesan cheese is super rich in umami, and so is anchovies. And that's why this is going to be so amazing. So this is just gonna add that that little, like that depth of flavor. It's not going to take, taste fishy, I promise you. You won't even know they're there. So some anchovies, that's about five. You can go heavier, like depending on your preference. Now I'm gonna gather up my walnuts. And if you've noticed, Anchovies are pretty salty. Parmesan cheese can be quite salty. So when it comes to adding salt, just go light. You can always add more later. Now I'm adding my 
freshly grated Parmesan cheese. Uh, if you might have heard me say this before, it is so important that it's freshly grated. It makes such a difference. Some fresh pepper, freshly grated black pepper. I love this with the nuts and the cheese. It's just such a wonderful component. I go quite heavy on the pepper for this. And then last but not least, olive oil. You can go pretty hard on the olive oil because that's going to be the, kind of the glue that holds it all together. So I really, really finely ground the walnut pesto. It's almost with the walnuts. Um, it almost is like walnut butter, almost, but not quite. So the olive oil, there's a real decent amount in there. I added a little bit more, and it's going to be nice and thick. So give it a good taste. Mmm. It's warm, nutty, rich. If anything, maybe a little bit more pepper. So if this is going to be for a pasta, I'm going to toss this with the pasta water, the cooking water from when I make the pasta, and toss it all together. Or this is actually really great as a crostini as well. You can use this on its own, or if you have maybe like a little creme fraiche or mascarpone cheese, I'm going to show you. This is a little creme fraiche, mascarpone. You can use goat cheese as well. And then to finish, put a little fresh oregano. Mm. It's really earthy, it's really warm, um, and of course nutty and wonderful. And the creaminess from the creme fraiche or any sort of dairy really helps it kind of pull it along as well. So that is your walnut pesto, your toasted walnut pesto. Great, like I said, for crostinis, or you could actually use it as a pasta sauce as well. Just add a little bit of water. Thanks for watching The Gastro Nerd. I'm Julianne Fader, and stay tuned for more delicious nerdiness to come.